Michael is listening in South Carolina to WRNN in Myrtle Beach. Go ahead, Michael. Um, I, I guess I have a, a comment and then a question. You guys were asking who some of the black leaders are from the prior caller, and I think a lot of the people that flock to publicity driven tragedies like this and give press conferences on the news, whether it be Jesse Jackson or Al Sharpton, they kind of define themselves as the black leaders. Um, not well, that's ridiculous, isn't that. it? I mean, if, if you let somebody... I've never met a black person that says... The ones on TV. Yeah. Well, I understand, but I've never met a black person that says, yes, Jesse Jackson's my leader. I understand, but they're the ones that show up on TV and, and make this. I don't think we'd be talking about the same issue if it was a white cop shooting a white 18-year-old or a black cop shooting a black 18-year-old. So it does become a race issue. I'm and not claiming it's not they, a race issue. I'm simply claiming that this non this this nonsense about black leaders is nonsense. It's intended to drive a wedge because you've got these clowns like Sharpton and um, uh, J- Jackson out there, uh, you know, performing for the cameras. Mm-hmm. And they, you're right, they chase the go around the globe, but certainly around uh, the country, looking for the news. There's no doubt about it. But I don't think. That there's too many black people that are like, yeah, right on, give it to them, Al. I I just don't think there are. They certainly have their follow uh, their fans, uh, but you know that that would be like saying that David it, Duke has his fans. Sure, and is, is he, he a, white, is he a leader? white leader? Yeah, exactly. Michael, anything else you want to share? Well, then the other issue you guys have talked a couple of times about the democracy that we live in. That is their right to speak up if they don't like how something's going. You talk about a victimless crime or whatever. It doesn't matter. It's not a cop's job to decide what crimes to enforce. Oh, yes, it is. The police it absolutely is the no, cop's job. If it's illegal, they are to enforce it. They're no, not I'm sorry. You don't know the law. They have discretion. Yeah, the cop always they has discretion. discretion. If marijuana is illegal, they have discretion. It's still illegal. They don't, they're not designed or they're not supposed to look the other way. You, if the voters think it should be legal, then they need to legalize it. Well, first it. of all, in and my, I'm like sorry, in my doing, ideal world, the cop is supposed to make a judgment because I want a, uh, a police officer who's going to know that bad laws exist and will have the independence to be able to think about the laws and judge them rather than just blindly enforcing bad laws. That would be protection. I thank you for the call, Michael. Toll-free number tonight, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. The blind enforcement of laws. Bad laws. The the blind enforcement of bad laws has been a real scourge on humanity over the years. All the way back to, of course, you know, slaves escaping in the South and then people returning them by force. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. 